welcome. We are the Story Girls. My name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And today we have a springtime Mother's Day DIY for you. So it's springtime. Obviously my most favorite thing about springtime is the birds come around. Except for that one bird that lives outside my bedroom and wakes me up every morning. Or if it's a pigeon. I don't like that one either. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But um, if you are a fan of birds or spring or nature like we are, we have the perfect DIY for you. This is our DIY bird feeder teacup Alice in Wonderland mm, amazing beautifulness DIY. And we also just realized how perfect is this because in Canada Mother's Day is next weekend so this also works as an amazing Mother's Day DIY. As well as the last one if you didn't see our candle, super cute. Go check it out. Link below for more Mother's Day information for you. Okay, and before we get started, if any of you are new subscribers here, hello and welcome. And if you're a new subscriber, comment below and we will say hello back to you because we are so happy to have you part of a family. A little family. Okay, let's get started. Into the video. All right, to make this DIY bird feeder, you're going to need a vintage teacup set, some chains, some jewelry bales, pliers, and some glue. We use Gorilla Glue, and Gorilla Glue sticks when it is applied to something that's damp. So you're going to want to wet your saucer and cups a little bit before we start this. Add some glue to one side of the cup and stick it into place. You're gonna to wanna to hold it there for a little bit until it hardens and then add some tape and let it dry. It is recommended that you let this dry for a couple of hours. We're also going to glue on three jewelry bales around the corner of the saucer using the same technique. You're going to dampen the saucer put some glue onto the jewelry bale, hold it into place, and add some tape to let it dry. We gave these a light coat of gold spray paint to match our chain. Next, using some pliers, cut three pieces of chain about a foot long each. The remaining chain can be whatever length you want it to hang from the tree. Close the three short chains onto the end of your longest chain. and then attach each of the chains to each of your bales, aka pieces that are used to make jewelry pendants or charms. And make sure that you leave the last link on your longest chain open because you will be using it to hang it later. All right, so you're at the park or preferably in your backyard <laughs> to hang your bird feeder. So you're gonna loop the chain around a high branch. You can do this by standing on a stool or a ladder or just throwing it over if your chain's pretty long. And then your open link that's on the end, you're going to hook it into the rest of the chain to hold it into place. Then we're just gonna fill up our cup with some bird seed. If you guys like this mason jar, it is a DIY that we did do last summer, so clickety click in the links below. You know, when we went to film this in the park, of course, no birds were around. We could hear them, but they wouldn't come to us. Maybe we recommend not standing right beside the bird feeder. It might scare them away a little bit. We know that if you put it in your backyard, you will eventually see some feathery friends come by. How simple though. So simple, but looks so good. I know, it looks so like good. Pretty legit. Anthropology, Etsy. Mm. Mm -mm. When we Done. were in the park hanging it up, people were like definitely checking it out, like in a good way. Slash, what are you girls doing? If you guys do want to check out what we were doing in the park and how funny <laughs> we looked, uh, we do have a behind the scenes vlog of like making this video as well as when we went to FanFest, which was amazing. We hung out with Bethany Moda and Jen Marbles oh and my Lord. Super cool people. Um, <laughs> so that will be a link to the end, 100%. Go watch it. It was a, such a fun time, and I think you guys will love it as well. Yes. And before we go, if you guys can make this DIY <laughs> and you can get a picture of a bird on your bird feeder, because you know, we waited around at the park for like a little bit, but we couldn't stay there all day waiting for all the birdies to come. <laughs> the DIY struggle was definitely real when we were filming this. Yes. But if you take a picture of this DIY with a bird on it, I will follow you on Twitter. The Story Girls. We will, we will. This is a DIY challenge to you guys. <laughs> Hashtag DIY challenge. And I just want to see this. So cute. <sighs> I know. So if you guys can do that, we will give you a huge round of applause. Shout out from us. Too. Round of applause. <laughs> you got all the birds. Hashtag all the birds. All the birds. All right. Well, we love having you guys here. You can find out more about us below, all our links to everything social media, and we really hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. And we will see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye. Bye.